Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to 60 Seconds. Today we are playing a new game, Apocalypse, with Fat Man, our friendly friend, Mr. Fat Man the Bomb, that's gonna take us a little bit less time to uh, prepare and a little, little more difficult. Okay, so we do have a different one this time. That's awesome. We actually have a different layout. We've got, we've got a good set of uh, four, four handfuls. Can destroy the toilet. Look at that toilet paper jangling on the edge. Okay, and we got the water. Get it, go. Okay, what is that telling us to get? Telling us to get the gas mask. We can do that. We're gonna grab mom. We're gonna grab the axe right off the wall. That's a good snag there. There's Timmy. He's gonna go. Timmy, go. We're gonna take you. Oh, the briefcase is way in the corner. That's so far away. Gotta get the briefcase though, because I don't know what it does, and I think it might do something fun. I wonder if there's multiple briefcase I briefcases. Oh, we got the radio. I thought that was a twofer. This is a bad run. There's so many things so far away. So many big things so far away. We might be alright. Need that gas mask too. Okay. I don't know what else is on the floor there. Ah. Grabbing the water in here. Let's see. Oh, there's the map on the wall. Need the map. Need the map. Need the map. Need the flashlight. I made it. Alright. I maybe could have grabbed one more thing at the end of that, but who knows? Who knows if I could or if I couldn't? Mmm. The radio. Keep up the world, even after it ends. Day one. Looks pretty well stocked. Looks very well stocked. I hope there's another can of soup behind her head. There are. There's four cans of soup. Great. And we got the bug spray out of the out of the shelter we were in. We grabbed a suitcase that had bullets for us. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already are. Already are. It's like pirates. Pirate. Pirate Ted. We played truth or dare, but when it turned out, we only kept asking questions, and the most common was, are we going to eat anything besides tomato soup? No, no says I. No tomato soup for us. Still highly radioactive outside? Of course. It doesn't turn non-radioactive until like day 16. Minimum. Eh, we may be before that. I'm not positive. We can make it work. Even in Toronto, the question is, how do we find a boat to get there? Okay, I don't know what that means. Day three, we're fine on day three. Highly radioactive. Good news! Government just announced we'll be dropping crates filled with supplies in our area. Awesome. That's a good event to get right away. And it ripped up our thing, but we did get food and water. So hopefully we get the Boy Scout book one pretty soon. Uh, the airdrop crate we found wasn't exactly huge, but it contained a few supplies that will definitely help us. We were especially happy to find some water bottles in food cans. For a minute, we thought it was canned meat, but then we found out it was tomato soup. Our theory was that the whole county, country, country, used to run on tomatoes, and no one suspected a thing. Okay, they keep fainting. They get food and water tomorrow. They got two of each. That's awesome. I've been smelling something funny. Didn't I just... Didn't I... I just said that, didn't I? That hopefully we don't get a fire that destroys our Boy Scout book. Didn't I just say that? I'm... I'm I might have thought it, not said it. Sometimes I do that. That's kind of the best item, I would think. It's the one that we can repair other things with. So, this is going to be bad. Mary Jane keeps fainting. They need water. They need water today. Food is in five days. Okay, area still is radiated. Nuke explosion. Enough to quench any petty arguments. When the future is not looking too pretty, and all you see is naked walls, not much is necessary for an explosion. It happened. We started fighting like crazy. Didn't make much sense to me. Okay, it's sixth day. Everyone's still all right. We're getting the Geiger counter going. We're done fighting, but for how long? Mary Jane says she's fine, doesn't need anything. Ted is fine. Dolores is fine. Nothing's going on with Ted. Timmy. Timmy was fine. Let's see. Group of people dressed in green pajamas knocking the door. It's not something we anticipated. This is yet exactly this is exactly what happened. Furthermore, they insisted they're the merry men and wish to take from the rich and give to the poor. We're pretty poor. We are not pretty poor. We're actually pretty rich in a 60 second style of rich. I don't want to lose my food to a bunch of merry men. Is that is that uh 
Peter Pan? No. Robin Hood. Yeah, Robin Hood reference. We didn't answer those peculiar calls and kept the door locked until the noises outside faded away. We're not exactly sure what those people... We want those people to come back. They sounded harmless enough, but can harmless people be trusted in those troubled times? They might be worse than those who don't seem harmless at all. Mary Jane's hungry, hungry. Love something to eat. Stomach's rumbling. Soon. As long as we have food, we can stay locked in. Nah. We'll have to leave eventually and head straight to safety setting instead of getting ourselves in more trouble. But since we can't call with the radio, we can't make contact with the military. Hmm. You know, I bet we can still win without the radio. Because there's that new event that lets us win. If there is... Oh, and I don't have the lock. Hmm. There's one thing we need to do. It's use the radio on a regular basis to catch emergency broadcasts. Well, if it wouldn't have started on fire, we could have done it. Day 8, we're all right. Yeah, still radioactive outside. Difficult to keep our spirits in this situation. We are seriously stuck in this thing for a long time until we get a new gas mask. Because I am not going to risk that. Hopefully Timmy will understand how to start doing it. Some mornings we feel a bit helpless. We need to pull ourselves together and be optimistic. The army can't be far. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Blah. Quit your crying. Highly radioactive. We're not alone. There's a huge hairy bunny beast that seems to be hiding in one of the pipes. It's been poking its head out, eyeing our measly food stash. How does a bunny beast get through a tomato soup can? I have never tried gnawing through one, but I can assume that it's not very good to gnaw through. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Why can't we eat it? I don't know. Okay, they're hungry and thirsty today. Perfect. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 days left. Contamination is still strong. Okay. And easy to escalate arguments in close quarters. Hmm. Everyone's spirits are still up, though. They're not going crazy. We're just going to sit in here. Timmy should eat something. They should eat something. Stomach is rumbling. I don't know. You'll get used to it. You get soup every five days. You you four share a can of soup every... Man, that'd be hard. That do look bigger than an average can of soup, though. Man. And we can't talk on the radio. We can't listen to the radio. Shoots. Twelfth day. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without a clue what's going on might not necessarily kill us. Yeah, hopefully not. Trip could be risky. We could really use supplies. Nope. Dolores has been has not been very talkative lately. Should we chat with her? Find out what's wrong? Yes. This is like the not going outside challenge. No exploration. Talking to Loris helped resolve some of her issues and doubts. She feels better now. Okay, they're still kind of hungry. No ration? Unknown wastelands. Let's not do it. This is insane. We keep finding spiders everywhere. They're in our soup. They're in our water. We swear some of them keep coming back. And they're bigger every time we see them. We can't go on like this to wage war on the spiders. Sure. Kill them. Smack them. We'll probably find another can of water when we smack them. We did. Oh my word! I totally forgot about her. Ha! Huh. <laughs> There's Mary Jane. <laughs> okay, well, looks like we can go exploring outside now. <laughs> we always knew books were precious. They are the perfect weapon when waging total war on, ex in on ex insectoids of any kind. Fear will keep the local spiders in line. Fear of the scout handbook. While chasing them around the shelter, we found a misplaced water bottle. It was a good hunt. <laughs> During our vicious fight with dozens of spiders, one got lucky and bit Mary Jane. It didn't seem serious, but when we got up this morning, she was different. Mary Jane's diet can use a little food. Yeah, that's that's hilarious. Well, looks like we can send her outside. Wasteland is no match for Mary Jane. Maybe she'll find, like, maybe she'll just rescue us in general. <laughs> I can't let her die. That would be horrible. Mary Jane is hungry. Timmy should eat. Okay, I'm going to feed everyone, including Mary Jane, and then I'm going to send her out. I wanted to send her out without anything. I want to see what that does. I wonder if any everyone can turn mutant. That'd be hilarious. The mutant family. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. They need to eat you just ate, you ungrateful little kid. That's all the soup we have right now. Your sister got turned into 
to spider girl, purple spider girl. Okay, and you still complain that you don't get food. Ah, uh, we never lived to see a dancing cockroach? Sure, let's smack it. That's a big book if you're smacking something with a, a cockroach, a giant cat-sized cockroach. We dodged a bullet this time, that is if the bullet was a huge, hairy, had eight legs and a glowing head. That is not a cockroach, that is an arachnid. Cockroaches those are not arachnids. Is. It's really weird when you get the feeling that someone is watching you. Our shelter is tiny, but this has been bugging us for a while now. We checked all the closets and no one is hiding there. There's something alive down here beside us, maybe a rodent of some kind. If so, we need to show that we are dominant species in this little paradise of ours. Okay. I wonder how many days they've felt the feeling of someone watching. That's a that's an eerie feeling too. Whatever it was, it's dead now. Quite dead. Maybe there's more hiding somewhere in one of those nasty little holes. Timmy is very hungry. You can have water and food tomorrow, buddy. Okay. I always wanted to throw a party with a huge cake. For some reason, it never worked. One time, we were promised a great cake and it turned out it was a lie. <laughs> that was a disappointment. We weren't glad. We definitely weren't getting cake when the radioactive clouds are gone. That's awesome. That's a portal. Portal reference. Portal. Portal's one of my favorite games. I really enjoyed it. Never played it. And then out of the blue, I didn't know anything about it and I went and played it. I loved it. Portal 2 is fantastic too. Let's leave all those little questions for now. Okay. Not getting cake. Day 20, you guys can eat and drink. I expect a nuke explosion would be enough to quench any petty arguments. Yes, I know. We're started fighting. Everybody's fighting in here. And Goomer's home. Hey, Goomer. What'd you bring back? But nothing. We're done fighting, but for how long? Nothing made us happier to see the sight of Mary Jane. I doubt that. Unfortunately, the search was futile. We gained nothing from this excursion. You turd nugget. Alright, you get food and water. I don't want to let you die. I'm not certain about the situation on the surface? Yeah! Wasteland is never a match for Mary Jane, and we still don't have a radio. Mutant Mary Jane is going to do it. One thing we need is to use radio on a regular basis. Thanks, genius. If I had a radio, we'd use it on a radio on a regular basis. Uh, do I want to take the briefcase? No. Yes. Maybe. I don't know what I should put in it. Bullets? We'll put bullets in it. Uh, not the flashlight. Axe? No. Bullets. We'll just give her bullets for some reason. I don't know why she'd want those. I don't want to part with anything else. Oop. 23rd day. Another dancing cockroach. I bet if we kill it, it will show up being a huge hairy and having eight legs. How much? Should we bet on that? Oh, that was close. Oh, glowing bugs might have been enough to drive us into the wasteland. Roaches other way. So this wasn't the, the glowing eight-legged one, whatever it is. Every new smell attacks her noses, and this little shelter instantly. Huh. Shouldn't eat so much tomato soup. There isn't much we can miss. So, when a single brick fell out from the wall, revealing a tight opening, our senses were immediately invaded by a terrible stench. We should probably check that hole and see what the source of the smell is. Okay. Nobody gets sick. Nobody gets sick. Nobody gets sick. Nobody gets sick. Nobody got sick. Nobody got sick. And nobody got sick, and we got canned of soup. We looked into the hole, fearing something might come up. Us with claws, fangs, or other mutated and sharp body parts. But nothing happened. Instead, we found a dead rat who was trying to break into a can of tomato soup. He failed miserably. We have a feeling we'll be luckier than him. So we confiscated it. We gave the rat a proper burial in an empty can. He deserved that much. All right, fellas. You can have some of that. Keep dreaming about those little things we did back in the day. There weren't many bombs falling down on our heads anyway. Okay. Hey, how are you? You're still creepy. You brought back that thing. Okay. She brought back the suitcase and the bullets. While scouting the wasteland, we stumbled upon a ruined pharmacy. Most of the medical supplies, yes, were already missing or damaged in the explosion, but we found an untouched locker in the back of the shop. We decided to blast it open using some gunpowder from ammunition. It worked. What? We brought... Huh. Okay. Okay, that's cool. So you bring an item and it could help out. That's awesome. 
were hoping the expedition would be successful. Too bad it was not the case. Mary Jane's diet could use food. Yeah, we'll give you food and water to reset you today. We still need more. Uh, we're going to send her again. More than ready to go out. As far as I know, she can't get sick right now. In in crazy thing form. Hulk form. I don't even know what you want to call that. Okay, she could use food. It's fine. Everyone's good now. Okay, send you again. We're going to send you with the briefcase. Suitcase. And bullets again. Should we take a map? Uh, Boy Scout book. Bug spray? I don't know. It feels like we're going to lose stuff again. I don't really want to. Let's just send her out alone. Naked and alone. Isn't that a weird survival show? Unlike one of those fake survival TV networks. Naked and alone and starving barefoot in the winter at 20 below. Can Jim do it? Probably, because we're right here with doctors and everything on the side. Yeah, I understand. We don't have a radio. Do you guys not understand that? Maybe Mary Jane will bring one back for us. There is one thing we need to do is use the radio on a regular basis. No, you don't need water right now either. You're fine. Tomorrow you can get it. Ooh, a man on a doorstep wants to be our friend. Uh huh, a pair of... Extra pair of arms a result of some weird mutation. He assures us it will not get us sick and asks for our help. We can provide him and his group some supplies. Yeah, repay us by helping us fight off the next dudes that come in. We are actually kind of low on our our food and water supply. Hopefully Mary Jane will come and bring us some. If not, we're in kind of a lot of trouble. I don't know. It's like we're at a stalemate because Mary Jane can do all this fun stuff. Timmy's very hungry. Yeah, we got one left. But we never thought we'd see a dancing cockroach. It's as big as a cat. We probably could scare it off with the Boy Scout book. If we had ever thought of that before. Or you could just plug up the hole with, I don't know, some empty cans, and it would never come in here again. Nest with those glowing bugs might have been more than enough to drive us into the wasteland. Wouldn't it be fantastic if we get up and leave? Yes. Yes, it would. Mary Jane, come home. Nope. Did she die? Nope. Or will someone come to our rescue? I doubt it, because you guys can't find the stupid radio. Oh. Huh. They offer... Okay. I heard a knock on the door. It was morning. This morning. We held our breath in fear, but as soon as we heard children's voices coming from the outside, we decided to open it up. It turned out the voices belonged to a pair of Girl Scouts. They used to sell cookies, but they have branched out and now offer other items too. Smart girls. I gotta make this trade. We're gonna get the radio for the flashlight. We got the flashlight, we're gonna get the radio. That would get, allow us to start talking to these stupid, or listening to the stupid dudes. Oh, and you brought a flashlight back. Good girl. Who's a good girl? Mary Jane, you are. Hey, we got the lock too. Sweet. Did you bring any food? You brought water. The girls were very kind, and their prices were more than fair, so we gladly accepted their offer. How very clever of them to keep their business alive, even after the apocalypse. We're impressed. Nothing made us happier to see the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter, as we were fearful for everyone on the surface. The local entertainment took us to the local cinema. A portion of the theater is still standing, including at least one cinema hall. Oh, we did get food. Yes, we went in hoping to scavenge something, at least find some posters, when we recognized a sign of overpriced popcorn stand sticking between the rubble. We were hoping to find some popcorn, but there was none left. Everyone bought it while watching Blitz play 60 seconds. It was still working. The cinema had a strict policy not bringing your drinks, so we found two, and we also found the padlock on the way out. Breaking your leg against the runes is not difficult, and the cinema wasn't helping. If it wasn't for the Hawkeyes and the cat-like reflexes, that flashlight abandoned in the middle of the movie theater passage could have proven lethal. Hmm... Okay, we'll feed her and water her, like usual, and then we'll send her right back out. Ooh. Hmm. So I don't know about this. I don't know about this one. Should we go answer the phone? Let's send... No, let's not send... Yeah, let's send Mary Jane out to answer the phone. And we couldn't... We couldn't queue up another person. Heh <laughs> 
When we answer the phone, we could clearly hear the gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves to the survivor of Hill Valley. We started exchanging information, and the call was cut short. Something must have gone wrong on their side. We hope they'll get back to us. Okay, Mary Jane is starving. Oh. I gotta do it again. Shoots. Gotta feed and water her again, just in case she does die. We're gonna send her out again. Why not? Oh, it's Timmy's birthday today. Here, have a Boy Scout book. I guess we're kind of in, like, holding pattern, waiting for the military to call again. Or go on the radio, or us to contact them. You know, I, the way I think of it is that they have, a, like, a loop broadcasting constantly, and it's our own inept people in the shelter that are sitting here, and they're like, huh, I wonder if we should turn the radio on. Yep, we probably should. We don't know if Timmy is ever going to be a Boy Scout after the apocalypse, but the Boy Scout handbook is a deadly spider-killing weapon in his capable hands. He's having fun. Of course. Of course. Okay, they need food and water today. Except you, because we're going to send you out tomorrow. And you've got, like, two days left. Okay, we're going to take the, uh, briefcase. I don't want the axe. We're going to take the ammo again. And the map, maybe. Not the map. Med kit. <laughs> we could try the med kit. Nobody else is going to go outside. People can still get sick, though. We'll try it. Why not? Maybe a dumb, dumb, dumb risk. Dumb, dumb. Dumb, dumb, gum, gum. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Timmy is good. At least it was five minutes ago. Relatively calm for Dolores. We still need food. If there's anyone who can rescue us, it's the government. Great. So we are going to turn it on and listen to their loop broadcast. Here, there it is. Right there. Good news. They say they're rescuing. We knew it. They has not fallen. They're coming to save us. Surprise. They didn't give exact dates in the radio transmission, but they're sure they won't keep us long. We have to wait for the restrictions. Yes. Repair the gas mask. So I bet Mary Jane's going to bring back a gun. She's probably going to lose the med kit as well. It looks almost brand new. Interesting that the Scout Handbook sports instructions for gas mask repair. Got the ration supplies. No. During the night, I heard some suspicious sounds coming from behind our door. When we peeked out this morning, we saw a leather suitcase. No, we are not opening it. We are not taking that risk. It has proved bad way more than it has proved good, and especially since we let Mary Jane leave with our, our wonderful thingy ba bob medkit thing. It's pretty simple. If we don't know where it comes from, we cannot trust it. There's no way we're taking this gift. We left it outside. Maybe some cockroach will want it. The kind of cockroach that enjoys ties, an occasional cigar, and of course, leather suitcases. Gonna have food and drink tomorrow. I always get like the, the gut-wrenching feeling that I'm gonna forget to water and feed them. All right, guys, so here's the deal. This got a little bit long, so I'm gonna cut this right here, roughly in the middle, and we're gonna see how this unfolds tomorrow. So, keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.